Hello, my name is Alexander Postalian. I'm an interventional cardiologist here at the Texas Heart Institute in Houston, Texas. And welcome to Asked and Answered, where we try to answer uh, patient questions that are common and some that are not so common. And uh, hopefully we can make sense of uh, some problems that some folks are having. I'm 65 and I have been taking aspirin for a long time. I read aspirin doesn't do anything. Can I stop it? Great question. So in the past, we used to give aspirin to everybody above the age of 55. It was a common thing. You turn 55, you get an aspirin. Boom, 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 done. Now, over time, we've learned that that isn't necessarily uh, the way to go. Um, overall, patients weren't benefiting as much as we thought they would. And we've done a lot of studies to confirm that. And in fact, they showed just that. Aspirin doesn't really do benefit for everybody. Um, and that got published relatively recently, so it made some strides in big journals and stuff, so people are talking about it. However, some patients still benefit from aspirin, okay? Patients that have had stents implanted, patients that have had strokes, heart attacks, patients with diabetes and some other risk factors, patients with high calcium count in the arteries of the heart. So even though not everybody needs aspirin, some patients need aspirin. Uh, I think that's an individualized decision that you need to have for, with your doctor. Well, this has been great. This has been a pleasure to be here. You know, I, I love doing this. So please send any questions. It can be anything cardiology related, high blood pressure, diet, medications, testing, valve issues, pacemaker issues, heart failure issues, uh, exercise, you know, questions about limitation or what can you do, etc. Um, just send it all. We'll be happy to look it over. Maybe they'll feature in our next uh, session here. And again, this is a general discussion. So if you have any symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, it's always good to talk to your doctor. And remember that every patient is an individual. So while we can make general recommendations, in the end, we always make an individual recommendation for a specific patient. So when you're watching something, asking a question, just keep, keep that in mind. We're giving you a general recommendation, but if you want a specific one, talk to your doctor.